Yeah, welcome back. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to Roll with the Troll. Now, listen, today we are talking about one of the most amazing success stories in all of history. Yes. This is going to be incredible. I know we talk a lot about Cobra Kai. We talk a lot about Daredevil, Marvel, uh, the Halloween series, the Rocky series. But today we're working on another kind of art form. Today. A, a very different kind of art form. We are talking about the incredible artistic talent. Mm -hmm. of hunter biden yes overnight success story just like his dad I, I gotta tell you this is this is literally the greatest and highest paid artist in all of history do you it's realize amazing. this voice of reason incredible i mean just like his very dad, impressive one minute he's nothing the next minute most success ever on top of the world his dad has more votes mm -hmm. nah, unsigned dead voters and such etc but the most number of votes than any other president in history ever and and hunter biden is making more money with his paintings than than anybody else in history so ever. The, the conversation now really voice of reason is like you know you could talk about the van gogh and you could talk about the picasso but not without Even also you, you have to mention biden in there as well in that conversation in the same conversation oh. yes you must drop that name incredible i mean really now let's um so what was he doing before his art became so popular? Well, before his art became popular, he was really just a you know, crack addicted, porn addicted, child molesting, cocaine selling, depraved criminal meth head batterer. Oh my. But but these days his art has really flourished. Yeah. You know, and I, I'll tell you another thing he was doing though, in the midst of all that, uh, you might be aware that he was actually serving with no experience at all, mind you, mm -hmm. uh, on the board of an energy company, a major energy company over in the Ukraine. Uh-huh. So yep. that's that's how that works. They it, hire It rings a bell. Yeah, they don't need you to have experience to be on the board of a major company like yeah. that. You don't you don't need to know what you're doing. You can be an advisor. Yeah. As long as you have a good history of drug use and abusing children. This guy women. has got way good karma. Yeah, he's got it all, frankly. Because we all want to get high paying, very elite positions without having any background or experience in the field. Or, or even as a decent human being, because when you're this obsessed mm -hmm. with, with getting caught on video with children and hookers and not doing anything for society, and then all of a sudden you get yeah. the world handed to you, yeah. that's incredible. I gotta it's tell the you, American dream. Well, it really is. And this is what's funny about these conspiracy theorists. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. These people who think for themselves, yeah. they, they look things up. They've got some nerve. I, I, I can't stand when someone can't just idly follow along like blindly, yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, it's not like people lie. The way it should be. Yeah. People aren't lying to you. Just believe whatever you're told Look, and shut up because that if, is virtuous. If it's on the news, it must be true. Of course. Why don't people accept that? I, I don't know. I don't know. You know. I remember, you know, back in the 70s, the news would tell you, and so would every doctor, that cigarettes were perfectly healthy. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I am a smoker today. I, <laughs> I just felt like. They're obviously not going to tell us something that's not true. Asbestos, same thing. It's perfectly mm -hmm. good for you. These yeah. conspiracy theorists telling you asbestos is a problem, not true. Yes. So I put asbestos in my fucking cheeseburgers. I, I put it everywhere. It's right. fine. It is no problem with Sprinkle it. Sprinkle it around. And all the same reason why there's no reason to, to be in, in question of this amazing artwork. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I do feel the need, though, to really understand this artist because he is again like the highest paid I, yes and i'm sure like most artists he's very misunderstood yeah i would think so what do you imagine his top priority is like what's his number one priority whores okay whores number one okay well yeah i see that all right well the, but the number two would you imagine number two priority for hunter are his his paintings no, and I'd, getting I'd, the colors i'd mm. have to say that it seems probably like drugs Ah, uh, drugs number at number two. two. Okay, that seems right. Okay, so so whore is number one, drugs number two. Do we? Do you think he puts the paintings at number three though? Do you think he wakes up with some sort of mission? Uh, probably hookers. Oh well, we have hookers at number one though. You feel that that hookers? Uh, I are... think they swing back in at number three though. More hookers. Yeah, okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Well, let me like let me make a list here real quick. I just want to I, I want to understand this guy and mm. his process. So, yeah. all right. So you're saying number one priority is hookers. Mm -hmm. Number two is drugs. Mm -hmm. And then number three, more hookers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I'm, just, I'm sure painting is down Based there somewhere. Based on but... all evidence. 
I, I'll tell you this. His family has got to be so proud of he and right? his dad both. Because you think, again, these guys, rags to riches stories, everybody. Yes. Hunter had nothing. And he was put on the board of of this energy company, Barisma. Was that what they were called? I think so, yeah. Right? Uh, for a second, when I first heard that, I thought he was a barista. Yeah, I mean, the confusion is understandable. Yes, because it's the same kind of experience yeah. in either case, which is zero. <laughs> uh, but he went from that with no experience at all to now no experience as the world's greatest painter. I am just, I'm so in awe. And I, I do mean that mm -hmm. not facetiously. I'm in <laughs> awe of this fucking guy, aren't you? Right. Yes, I am. Well, I'm also in awe of people who listen to a video like this and feel to click the like button. Hit like. Yeah, like, subscribe, click the bell. We have more videos like this coming all the time. And of course, we talk a lot about our favorite TV shows and movies and shit like that. So everybody, we will see you tomorrow. And, and we'll have our big Hunter Biden artwork giveaway coming up soon, too. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe and, and maybe we'll send you one of these amazing paintings. <laughs> have a great day, guys. Thanks for supporting the channel.